Okay, everyone. So we got our letters for the Ford Raptor. Okay. So now we're trying to just figure out how this all gets mounted up. Um, just going to mount this right over here, and then we'll take it to the Raptor and see how we're going to do this. Want to hold the other camera? Okay, I can. Thank you. Okay. So, yeah, let's see what we got here in the bag. Should probably open this up somewhere, but it's very few little accessories. So, this must be for one of the hinges here. <laughs> and we got another one right there. Okay, and uh, these are metric rivets I think they're M6s and screws but we don't even know if we're going to use those if we were going to use them we would use stainless steel and not raw steel um, what are they the hardness of these ones are 8.8 .8, so yeah they could have just got some stainless steel or zinc you know but uh, these ones now, these ones will get rusted very quickly. You don't want to use these ones for cars. Okay, so let's get this into place. Here we go. Okie dokie. This will come into here. Then we'll just put some lube on the end. When, um, once that's all mounted up, you know, then we'll do that. Okay, so this goes right through. It doesn't come with a manual, so you have to figure it out yourself. It's not that it's like, you know, very difficult anyway, so. We'll put the nuts in to the inwards position, like that. Once again, this should also be stainless steel. Um, I don't know why it's raw steel. Still don't understand. It's gonna get all rusted up, but then we'll get some stainless steel as well for here, which is easy just to change. Um, and this puts another one over here. I guess it's just cheaper, you know. Because 8.8, .8, you can get 10. 10.2, I think. But they come zinced, you know, with treatments, anti rust treatments, so. 8.8 .8 raw steel, I don't see what they're going to gain out of it, you know. It's not such a big difference. We're talking about cents in aero, cents. So, okie dokie, that goes through there. Yes, there we go. Put this washer here. Well, we aren't going to use those rivets because we're going to adapt the original screws that are on the Raptor because we don't want to make holes on the Raptor we don't want to damage our warranty you know avoid our warranty so we have to use everything that's there and uh, so this rotates right here this plating rotates um, see I can turn it with my hand as you can see I'm turning it with my hand um, it's got sphere bearings, okay. Um, and then we got that hole right there, and another one right here. So we only have two holes to tighten this support. Now we have four, sorry. Uh, then what we do is we have to rotate the top part so that we can get to all four screws, okay, when we tighten it up. Uh, I was finding it difficult but only two, so yes, it had to be four. Um, now we're going to take it to the Raptor and take some measurements, see what aluminium plates are we going to need to adapt original holes on the Raptor to this ladders, okay, to these ladders. Um, this just like keys and elbow keys and uh, this uh, 
10 and the 13 so yeah we aren't going to need this i'll use this for the project um and these are the belts to secure the ladders to the trunk you see zinc plated screws i could have just gave that for this but who knows why um yes and this really is stainless steel right here so this is going to secure the ladders whenever we aren't using it so it says attached to the trunk okay let's go okay so we got our ladders over here um now what i want to do is first of all um there are these stoppers right here you see which you can adjust uh, there is it here at the bottom if you show them here at the bottom just like that you see so they're adjustable just like these ones so that you can just like um, put them against whatever support you have on the bottom so my idea is um to get an aluminium plate which will cover this screw one two and three we got three screws right next to each other we don't have any more screws as you can see there's no more we can only work with one two three so i'm gonna have to make like some supports that will come outside of this grill texture of the protection of the trunk because uh, this is all plastic there's not the, nothing underneath here um, so I'm gonna have to make some supports to come on the outside so that's when I put the aluminium plates it's a bit lifted up it's like let's say two three mill millimeters above the plastic covering so that we don't squish the plastic covering or damage the plastic covering okay so we're using the original screws that comes with the Ford Raptor I'm going to make some supports. Um, I'll probably make them in. Um, I'll probably make them in like some resin composite um, plastic. So I won't make them in plastic. I'll make them like with a composite um, that's harder than plastic. Okay, uh, so that it's um, it doesn't like you know it just doesn't bend or anything. I don't want to make it also in aluminium or metal because I'm afraid it might break the plastic. So I'm going to make it in a in um, hard resistant plastic. Let's call it that resin, okay, composite. Um, it's going to be three millimeters above, and then this will take the aluminium plating will come like covering this. Uh, I'll get like uh, let's say eight millimeter, no, maybe a ten millimeter aluminium hard uh aluminium plates okay i'll get a special league of aluminium that's much harder than normal so 10 millimeter will take the the force of the lattice which will be going forward backwards sidewards um it won't take the weight because the weight is on the feet of the lattice but it will take any torsion or anything okay i don't know if i can hold this rotate it like that okay so that it will also be on this side here and these feet that it has here these supports will be um, adjustable so I can just go like that against the aluminium plates okay um, like that I know that it's steady because once you get onto the last step our weight is going to be distributed between the rest of the ladder the feet but also on these hinges which will apply force also on this part here of the structure so that's why I need this to always be against the aluminium plates. So now I'm just going to do my calculations to order aluminium plates that will cover me here. And I'll lift the lattice, turn it around, and it will give for the back as well. So like that I can get on top of the trunk from the back and from the sides. Okay, uh, the right hand side because we drive on the left hand side. Normally our sidewalks are on our right hand side. So that's why I'll make it work from the back to the side, like that. Um, now I have to get the, these supports inside the trunk because I can't have the aluminium plates um, coming until here, you see. Because the door closes here. 
so I have to come on the inside of this so now to calculate in order that the ladder is in an angle and inside so here I have a lot of leverage here still just like that you see um, yes so I'm going to take my measurements and remember this ladder always falls also into the inside so to put it away the technique will be it's supported here okay and I'll just have to do this the following so I'm just gonna have to do this like this you see and it's all tucked inside to the trunk so just lay down there on the trunk so it will be quite easy you see it's just going to lay down inside like that and it's going to be like in this position right here so it falls like in two of course it's not secured right now but um, let me just make sure that this is the maybe it's like this way let's see here let me take it out here first we're trying to investigate this let's see how it bends in two so it doesn't go like that okie dokie so if this is like here then I want to fold it like this okay so it will end up being like that let me see yes so that's what it will be doing like this okay so this is how it falls once it's on the truck so it doesn't stay laying down like completely laying down I don't really need this plastic here anymore. Let me get this plastic out. So it will be laying down like this. Mm. Over. And keep it inside. So that then we can strap it down. But it's going to have to stay like this always. And even use this one. But I'll pro I think that this one with this one will be sufficient. So I'll use two screws to strap it down. And uh, these three here to boot the aluminium plates so that I can secure the base of the and the su rotary support of the ladder. Okay, that's it. Okay, dokie. So we'll be using the plates of three. 80 okay so I'll say it in millimeters 380 millimeters by 340 millimeters okay like that I get the proper area support I will put like a very thin sponge beneath so that it doesn't if you use a thick sponge then it will be like swerving too much just a thin one just to not mock the plastic with time um, yes, by 10 millimeters. So that will be great. I'm actually going to see if I have something like that. Okay, doke, everyone. So, new content for the channel. Yes. Um, I've been collecting this. It took me si about 60 weeks. I don't even remember how many there are editions. Okay. So it used to come one edition every week. This is a robotic and programming course. You can do this from 8 years old all the way until you're 80 years old. That's what it says. So, um, if you all want to learn a course of robotic and programming, we'll do it together. I'll be creating a playlist called Robotic Course and Programming um, on the channel. So that all the videos of all the editions will stay all together in one playlist. Um, I will be videoing this separated from this video okay um like that it's everything's like this is separates from the from the other videos so that would be just too confusing you know how could you find it you know <laughs> so like that i'll be calling it um chapter one chapter two chapter three okay and it's quite interesting it's very complete you go from basic um skills all the way until 
um, electronical assembly and programming I mean I know there's like um, an app on the computer there's a bunch of stuff we got to do so um, this one is in a different bag and this one because the plastic is so thin that it's all on these two first editions um, I have followed through this book I have read this first one just to see what this was all about the second one I haven't read um, so the first one I read just to make sure what this was all about you know because I had to start um, and once I saw it was so interesting then I said okay so I'm not going to open any other of them you can see they all like sealed originally and um, but the plastic so thin it's really easy to tear up so I just kept on putting them in the box in these two boxes and I said okay one day once it's all finished and um, I start like the YouTube channel I'll get this onto the channel so I kept this just for all you viewers okay uh, and um, to like say thank you for all your support so yes I hope you all enjoy this remember there will be a different separated playlist uh, not a different channel a different playlist just specific for this course like that whenever you want to repeat viewing it go back and um, see it with like more time you know or share with other people you can have the whole collection of the it's not a collection but <laughs> you can have the whole robotic and programming course in one playlist which i think would be very cool so i'm not going to include this in the normal videos that i upload um I'll just the videos will be just for this content okay so yes this week stay tuned everyone and subscribe to the channel please thank you very much for your support and yes this week number one edition we will open it up together see what it's all about uh, I know it's not in English but don't worry because I'll be um translating it all into english okay uh, during the video and yes it will be very cool so that we can all do this and see it together uh, if whoever understands portuguese language then it's even easier <laughs> because it's all written in portuguese so that will be easy for all the portuguese language countries <laughs> Um, any doubts you guys have during the the uploading of these videos just um, give me a shout out and I'll go into more detail in whatever you guys want me to go into more detail we can go into detail and and get all those doubts out so that everyone understands what it's all about okay so yes let's go everyone more content <laughs> It's actually quite complete. I mean, it's it just looks so cool, so much fun. It's not something for like just kids, um, and that's why I wanted to include it in this channel because it's for everyone. You know, it's all about everyone. <laughs> Millie and Lee. Oh, these babies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you hear? Yeah. Huh? Can you hear? Yes, no. There's a full bed way. Check, 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 check. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> wow. Look at all these fishes <laughs> over here. Hey, imagine I dropped the phone, they're going to eat us. That's what I'm thinking. That's a lot of fishes. <laughs> <laughs> 